At the beginning of cross-examining, Wax Minister Engineer Abraham Biandala attempted to deny about being involved in the standard gauge railway dealings, pointing to his junior minister, Engineer John Biabagambe. I, I told you when we started the Northern Corridor Infrastructure Project after two meetings, that's when I, I delegated to Biabagambe. That time, the Northern Infrastructure had not started. We don't have your letter. Which you look at the dates, please. We don't know the date. I delegated, I delegated, I delegated to Gambi in after uh, after June 25th. Engineer Biandala was later exposed by a letter written by the president in the course of the negotiations. The letter indicates that Biandala had signed an MOU with China communications and construction company to undertake the project blocking another Chinese firm, Czech, that was more experienced in railway construction. Some officials brought in the idea that if the government should sign MOU with the parent company, the two companies. Yeah, so, yeah, you so see, who is that official? I'm responding on the advice of the Anthony Jenner. Is that know what you have read? No. Please, we, what we have, have you read? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, you, I'm saying, okay, with your advice, Actually, I will come with your Vietnam, advice. You are suggesting, yes. the Telegram was only raising, that these companies are related. Which one do you want? And you said, I want CCCC. Yeah, a factor is advice. So you are pushing check. No, no, and the no, no, no. Saying somebody's trying to push no, away no, check. No, no. President Museveni's letter revel undercover dealings with corrupt government officials who are reported to have picked bribes from CCCC and stole State House documented minutes on the standard gauge railway meetings with other Chinese companies which had similar interests. Listen to the, the president's letter. The, the president is saying, check. the problem is, is that Sheik is a holding company with no construction capacity and have never come to Uganda. Of course you know that is not a true statement. This CCCC started constructing Intel Expressway were ahead of that date. Did he tell you who are the corrupt officials? No, he hasn't. I, I can't go and start pleading for X, for Y. I don't know what they do. I only talk about, because he's talking about bribes, I can only talk up for myself. You signed with the people who the president was saying that they were being told you, by I told you I had an audience with the president. Another shocking letter to the committee pinning Biandala is the Abner General's letter advising him on how his MOU would bind government to a bad contract. So you put that question to them. No, I, I want want to, whatever we do, we, say, they, they are the legal, we send it, please, advice. You said, is CCC complaining? Yes. And I said they are not. Why? For two reasons. Because they won the job. Because you, by your own admission, they are the parent of Czech. So they cannot be complaining. No, Secondly, that, because they were blacklisted by one bank. No, that is wrong. Because CCC wrote a letter to me requesting me to renew their MOU and I rejected. So you can't say because... Why do you reject it? Why? Yeah, give us what's the rationale. Well, it was a decision by me. So do you accept that that was a mistaken decision? Which mistake? To sign the MOU with CCCC. There was no mistake. There was no mistake. Why did you not renew their MOU? That was under my powers. Either I renew, I don't renew. I hope you are aware of the implications. Because you are telling us that because it was Chinese money, it is not, it, it's, it's not exempt from corrupt. From corruption. I'm not. That, I'm not that, I will say that, that, that please. Is, no, no. I'm, no, Mr. Chairman, I'm, I'm not going to accept somebody to put words in my mouth. I haven't said that. By implication. No, no, no. I haven't said that. You're saying this Don't money, put implication on this, me. This blacklisting. You say what I've said. Yes, Don't say what implication. You said you Asked whether he knew the company he had signed with an MOU that had been blacklisted by World Bank, Bianca told the committee that it had no impact on Uganda since the money to construct the standard cage railway was not coming from the World Bank. Timothy Sbassi, Star Vision Parliament.